Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem from 7th chapter coordinate geometry uh, 7.1 x is 8th problem. Uh, see here uh, what he is asking. Show that the points minus 4, comma, minus 7, comma, minus 1, comma, 2, comma, 8, comma, 5 and 5, comma, minus 4 taken in order are the vertices of a rhombus find its area so he has given four points here if we take in the points in order show that the points are the vertices of a rhombus he is asking so see here let uh, given four points as a b c d a b c d we have to take in order either in clockwise or anti-clockwise here a b then you must take c here only so a b c d so let a is equal to let the given point says a is equal to minus 4 comma minus 7 b is equal to minus 1 comma 2 c is equal to 8 comma 5 and d is equal to 5 comma minus 4 so these are the four points so now we have to show these four points are the vertices of a rhombus so how can we show again by finding the distance between the points we can show that the given points are the vertices of a rhombus so what are the characteristics of a rhombus so the lengths of the all sides are equal in a rhombus the lengths of the all sides are equal so in a square the lengths of the all sides are also equal so but how can we differ rhombus and square by finding the lengths of the diagonals we can differ whether it is rhombus or a square so in rhombus the lengths of the diagonals are not equal but wherein whereas in square the lengths of the diagonals are equal so here we have to find the lengths of the four sides the lengths of the four sides we have to find here so how can we find the lengths of the four sides so suppose uh, the length of the side a b is equal to the distance between the points a and b again by finding the distance between the points uh, we can find the lengths of the four sides so if we get the lengths of the four sides are equal next we have to find the lengths of the diagonals a c and b d so if the lengths of the four sides are equal and the lengths of the diagonals are not equal we can say that the given four points are the vertices of a rhombus so let the given points uh, a b c d uh, so we have to use distance formula to find the distance between the two points so distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so first uh, now we have to find the length of the side AB it is nothing but the distance between the points A and B so the distance between A minus 4 comma minus 7 and B minus 1 comma 2 is so now just we have to substitute in the formula let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so square root of x2 minus x1 whole square so x2 is minus 1 x1 is minus 4 x2 minus x1 whole square is minus 1 minus of minus 4 whole square so that uh, we have to write minus 1 minus of minus 4 whole square so this is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square y2 is equal to 2 y1 equal to minus 7 y2 minus y1 is 2 minus of minus 7 whole square 2 minus of minus 7 whole square so now just we have to simplify here minus 1 minus into minus plus so minus 1 plus 4 whole square it becomes a minus 1 plus 4 whole square plus 2 minus of minus 7 it becomes 2 plus 7 whole square so it is a 2 plus 7 whole square 2 plus 7 whole square so 2 minus of minus 7 that is 2 plus 7 whole square so minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3 
so 3 square is 9 so we can write directly it is square root of 9 so 2 plus 7 is 9 9 square is 81 9 square is 81 so square root of 9 plus 81 is 90 square root of 90 square root of 90 units so this is the length of the side ab the distance between a and b is nothing but the length of the side ab so now we have to find the distance between b and c the distance between b minus 1 comma 2 and c 8 comma 5 is bc is equal to again we have to substitute in the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so let it is x x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so x2 minus x1 whole square so x2 is 8 x1 is minus 1 x2 minus x1 is 8 minus of minus 1 whole square so here we can write 8 minus of minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square y2 is 5 y1 is 2 so 5 minus 2 whole square it is 5 minus 2 whole square so again we have to simplify 8 minus of minus 1 it is 8 plus 1 so square root of 8 plus 1 is 9 so just i am writing one more step 8 plus 1 whole square plus 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 square So 8 plus 1 is 9 and 9 square is 81. 9 square is 81 plus 3 square is 9 again. So 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 square is 81 plus 3 square is 9. Square root 81 plus 9 is a square root 90 units. So this is the distance between B and C. Square root 81 plus 9 is square root 90 units. So next we have to find the distance between C and D. The distance between C 8 comma 5 and D 5 comma minus 4 is C D is equal to. So again we have to substitute in the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2. So x2 is 5 x1 is 8. So x2 minus x1 whole square is 5 minus 8 whole square. 5 minus 8 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. y2 is minus 4. y1 is 5. y2 minus y1 is minus 4 minus 5 whole square. is equal to square root of so 5 minus 8 is minus 3 minus 3 whole square is plus 9 plus minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 so minus 9 whole square is plus 81 so square root of 9 plus 81 again square root of 90 units just to see here uh, 5 minus 8 is minus 3, minus 3 whole square is plus 9, minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9, minus 9 whole square is plus 81, square root 9 plus 81 is square root 90 units. So next we have to find the distance between D so and the D. distance between D 5 comma minus 4 and A minus 4 comma minus 7 is D A equal to so square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. We have to substitute in the distance formula. So let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2. So x2 minus x1 whole square. So that is minus 4 minus 5 whole square. It becomes a minus 4 minus 5 whole square so y2 minus y1 whole square y2 equal to minus 7 y1 equal to minus 4 so y2 minus y1 is minus 7 minus of minus 4 whole square
is equal to so square root of minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 whole square it is a minus 9 whole square is plus 81 so minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 minus 9 whole square is plus 89 so here minus 7 minus into minus plus 4 minus 7 plus 4 is a minus 3 minus 3 whole square is also plus 9 just I am writing one more step minus 7 plus 4 whole square so here minus 7 minus into minus plus 4 whole square so here uh, that is a square root of 81 plus minus 7 plus 4 is minus 3 minus 3 whole square is also plus 9 so square root of 81 plus 9 is square root 90 units so this is the length of the uh, length of the side da equal to square root 90 units so now we have found all the lengths of the sides so next you have to find the lengths of the diagonals so the distance between a and c next to b and d we have to find <coughs> The distance between a minus 4 comma minus 7 and c 8 comma 5 is so again we have to apply square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so x2 minus x1 whole square is 8 minus of minus 4 whole square 8 minus of minus 4 whole square So plus y2 minus y1 whole square is 5 minus half minus 7 whole square. 5 minus half minus 7 whole square. So again you have to simplify here. So 8 minus half minus 4 is 8 plus 4. So 8 plus 4 whole square. Square root of it is 8 plus 4 whole square. 8 minus of minus 4, 8 plus 4 whole square, 5 minus of minus 4, it is 5 plus 4 whole square. Sorry, 5 plus 7 whole square. 5 minus of minus 7 is 5 plus 7 whole square. So here 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 square is 144, 12 square is 144 plus 5 plus 7 is also 12, 12 square is 144. So square root of 144 plus 144 is a square root of 288 units. So this is the uh, distance between the points A and C. It is nothing but the length of the diagonal AC. So next we have to find the distance between B and D. The distance between B minus 1 comma 2 and D 5 comma minus 4 is BD is equal to uh, square root of uh, so let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 x2 minus x1 whole square is uh, 5 minus of minus 1 whole square. So this is x2 minus x1 whole square 5 minus of minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is uh, a minus 4 minus 2 whole square so this is y2 minus y1 whole square minus 4 minus 2 whole square so now you have to simplify it so 5 minus of minus 1 is 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 whole square is a, a 6 square that is a 36 plus minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6 minus 6 whole square is also plus 36 so square root of 36 plus 36 is square root of 72 units so now we have found the lengths of the four sides and the lengths of the four diagonals so we have bc is equal to CD is equal to DA is equal to square root of 90 units 
and AC is not equal to BD. So let it is 1 and 2. From 1 and 2, A, B, C, D are the vertices of a rhombus. Since the lengths of the four sides are equal and the lengths of the diagonals are not equal. So we can say therefore from 1 and 2. Therefore from equations 1 and 2, we can say A, B, C and D are the vertices of a rhombus. Therefore the given four points uh, are the vertices of a rhombus. So therefore we can write the given four points are the vertices of a rhombus. So now we have to find its area, area of the rhombus. So using from the lengths of the diagonals we can find its area. So generally we have area of the rhombus equal to half into D1 into D2. D1, D2 are the lengths of the diagonals. So now we have uh, AC is equal to square root 288 units and BD equal to square root of 72 units. AC and BD are the lengths of the diagonals here. So now we have to find its area. Area of the rhombus equal to half into product of its diagonals. So half into D1 into D2. D1 into D2 is nothing but product of the diagonals. So half into here diagonals are AC and BD. Half into AC into BD. So now we have to substitute the values of AC and BD. So write half into. So AC value is square root of 288 into BD value is square root of 72. So that is just we have to simplify half into square root of 288 I am writing as a 2 into 144 2 into 144 into square root 72 I am writing as a 2 into 36. 288 can be written as 2 into 144 and 72 can be written as 2 into 36. So just we can get 1 by 2 into it can be written as a root 2 into a root 144 a root 2 into root 144 can be written as a 12 here also root 2 into root 36 root 36 can be written as 6 so here 12 into 6 is 72 so write 1 by 2 into root 2 into root 2 is a 2 12 into 6 is 72 so 2 gets cancelled 72 square units 72 square units so this is the area of the given rhombus so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching